Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Econobox Garage. Come on inside where it's a little bit warmer. My next little project is to refurbish the heater. Now this pile of parts here, the fan, the heater core, these two panels, uh, this little part here, and miscellaneous brackets and what have you, that's what came with the car. So that is not enough for a complete heater. So I purchased some time ago a complete heater box, which I have not uh, dismantled yet, but uh, that'll be part of the work in this video. Uh, I have ordered new parts, which you can see here. I decided to get a new case because it looks this one here has got some damage to it and it's split uh, in quite a few places. So I'm going to replace that with this new one here. I didn't have any of the trunking that goes from the front of the car to the heater. Uh, so I picked that up and the new clamps this clamps it to one of the wheel wells, and these are the hose clamps for either end. And then this is the gasket material that seals the heater core to the box itself. Now the first thing I'm going to do on this uh, motor, on this assembly here, is I'm going to undo these two bolts here, and then take these screws out of here. And I'm hopefully, hoping those are kind of a captive nut, but we'll find out soon enough. Now getting these back in is going to be interesting, but uh, the way that I do that might come to light as more I get into this, so. We'll get a little quarter inch for that. <laughs> and this is just a 5 16 socket. The vibration washer on both of those, on all three of those, and we should be able to pull the motor out, and there we go. And there is the old case. Yeah, there's a just looking inside. There's a, it's hard to see, but there's a patch here, and there's a broken part inside. There's a large crack. You see how the casing is all cracked there. I think it was a good idea to get a replacement. Now one thing I will have to do is knock these holes out for the different items. And These little studs are actually just a little um, normal looking bolt and on the back side inside the the casing here you can see that there's actually an hexagon there's a hexagonal shape spot and that's where those little bolts come in from behind and then to hold them in place uh, there's just a little uh, soft washer that presses over that and holds it in place so my first task is to be getting these out now this was missing one on here so I'm gonna have to rig something up for that and then before I can put them on the new one, I'm going to have to drill out the holes here that's just cast right across. Uh, so I'll drill those out carefully. Uh, same on the front side and on the back side. So there's the holes for this hole and these two here are for the brackets that hold the blower assembly in place. And these three are to hold the motor into the the assembly and as you can see on here those holes they're located but they're not uh, all the way through so I'll carefully drill those out so once I have all the holes drilled on the new case I will transfer all the hardware over from the old case okay I have the holes pulled out there it's actually the plastic just pushed out 
and I just went through with a circular file to make sure that they were the right size and I checked all the holes with the appropriate bolts and we're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all of those little screws and the, the uh, little retaining washers and we'll get that put in place. So I'll put this first one in to show you that and then we'll get the rest of them put on. Or how I'm going to do this, the bolt will be in from the back side of the case like that and then this little washer here has to go over top of that and into the little recess. So what I'm going to use to push that washer on is a socket that's about the same size as the washer but will go over top of the bolt. That will allow me to push that washer on all the way um, and keep it reasonably straight. So here's the first one in place and you see the washers all the way down in that little uh, in a little recess. If I flip this over, you can see the bolt head down there uh, in its little recess on the other side. So the idea of that is when you go to put the, that will be the motor back on, um, that bolt won't spin. Well, I have a whole bunch of cleaning done. <clears throat> you can see the hardware here is all cleaned up. Uh, the clips for that, the little screen that goes on the front. I've got the little bolts in place on here. Uh, the motor's got a coat of paint on it. I was able to test it and it's good. Um, I've just cleaned up the fan itself and I don't think I'm going to bother putting any paint on that. It's all enclosed anyway. Uh, and, uh, and that. So my next task is going to be disassembling uh, this piece here, giving it a good clean and some paint. And it comes apart well, these, there's two screws here, uh, that takes this little bracket off, and uh, you can just see down inside here there's two little Phillips head screws that go into the shaft, and it goes right across, so I'll be able to pull that out. So I think what I'm going to do on this is disassemble both units, and then use the best bits of both to come up with the one that'll go on the car. And there's a little bracket off that one. And I'll get in here and get these. I might need to get a different. Yep, yeah, you need to get a smaller Phillips. There we go. screw head on this one has stripped. All right, I'm going to put that one aside for now. And let's get this other one done. I think what I'm going to do on both of these is get some penetrant on both of those uh, screws and then uh, leave them to sit for a bit and then come back to them. Well, I think what I'm going to do is actually leave this in and then just clean up as best I can. This is the better of the two. Seeing as I can't get that screw out right now, and it's a really awkward spot to do, I think I'll just clean up as best I can. So I'll put the other screw back in. There. Alright, so I'll just clean up the outside of this and give it a coat of paint and call that good. There's the two brackets mounted on the back um, of the blower housing. I've tightened these one, these two up, but I've left this one a little bit tight. It, it's snug because I just make sure that everything lines up for when it gets put in the car. So I, that gives me a bit of wiggle room here. Um, so now I'm going to get the heater motor installed on here uh, with the fan on it, and then I'll get the other, and then I'll get the front face of that done. So here's the motor side or the back side of the blower housing um, all put back together. Um, I checked to make sure I had the motor in the same orientation as it was before. So I'm going to make sure all of these are nice and tight 
um, except for this one which I'll leave a little bit loose so I can adjust it to get to the right spot and if I remember correctly this cable here uh, is just is the ground so now that that side is done I can get to work on this side so I've got the little screen piece that goes on there and then uh, this piece here clamps that screen to the body. Now there's the completed uh, blower assembly with uh, brackets installed. Now I just have to figure out uh, these holes on this bracket are fairly large so I'm wondering if there's supposed to be a rubber bushing in those. Um, I'll have to check through all my parts. So there is a rubber bushing on the back side uh, with a similar size hole so um, I'll check into that before I put this in but other than that this is ready to go back in the car. Well, Here's the blower motor assembly is installed in the car and after a little bit of research I determined that these holes do not have a grommet in them uh, they just bolt directly through and my assumption is that just allows a little bit of uh, wiggle room to move this about and then the top bracket up here I've got the ground wire securely attached under that bolt and now that that's all in I can get to work on the heater box. Well that does it for this week's episode thanks for joining me if you enjoyed the video please be sure to share it with your friends hit the like button hit the subscribe button and don't forget that little bell icon click on that you'll get notified when the next video comes out if you'd like to get a hold of me directly you can do so at the email address I'll put at the bottom of the screen and I'll have that in the description below as well. So be sure to join me for the next episode when I'll be working on the heater box and getting that into place. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.